Welcome to another Tech Stuff Tuesday. This week, I'm at XD Audio in Clearwater, Florida, and we're gonna see what happens when you have one sub that's broken in and another sub that is not. We're gonna install these subs in an SPL car, and we're gonna see what happens. If you watched the video that you should have already watched about how break-in is a myth, not that they don't break in, but what actually happens and what can't happen if you break in or not, uh, then this will be a little bit of an addendum to that. Uh, this sub is extremely stiff. The FS on it is 68 hertz. This sub has been broken in. The FS on it is 53 hertz. We're gonna put them in the same box that is a common chamber with one amp that is powering both of them, so we don't have to worry about gain matching or change of impedance between amps or anything like that. We're gonna go through all the test data as we burp it several times and see what changes in this process. Now, I'm gonna give you a moment to comment below what you think these subs are. If you didn't pause that, that was very awkward. But this is one of our EMF YOLO V2s. No, it's not a production sub. Yes, I have had these motors designed for probably three years now, maybe four. Uh, when the V1s ran out, uh, I was working on this, had prototypes made and just never went to production with it. But these things are pretty awesome. I built them as 12s, 18s, and now 15s that we will be trying. We're gonna do all this testing in this car over here that you can't see, that you will see in a minute. Go over all the data and explain what exactly is happening when you test one sub that isn't broken in and another sub that is. And this is gonna be our setup. We've got a 215 box with three six inch ports and an 8,000 watt amplifier that may or may not be making 8,000 watts after impedance rise. If you don't know anything about impedance rise, there's some other videos about impedance rise that also be linked in the description below. If you don't know how subs are installed, congratulations, here's gonna be a time lapse of installing 215s. I know what you're thinking, this is CRX, so it's automatically gonna be loud and you can go f yourself, I don't care. So you've seen the setup, you've seen the car, and what we're gonna do is go to 2,000 watts that we're gonna keep a monitor on with SPL and compare that so every burp is right at the same power. It might be a few watts off, but that shouldn't make any difference when you're at the 2,000 watt level. We're gonna do this 10, 20 times. Write down the data and see how the score changes. And we're also gonna look at impedance in that time and make sure, see how impedance changes with that because that could throw off the power. And log all of that data and see what happens over the time that the other sub gets broken in to the other spec.
We've got all our handy dandy test data here. And uh, pretty much what we saw is kind of what I expected. We played volume 28 the entire time. We played 56 hertz the entire time. But what we did see is it started from 2061 watts, did a 153.5. And then as it kept going, the power kept dropping, but the impedance also kept dropping. Now I know what you're thinking, that seems kind of weird, but that's what happened. We didn't have it on a uh, charger while we were doing it. We didn't have the alternator running. So we did have some fall off on voltage as this was happening, but the actual output power was staying pretty consistent. It did drop a little bit and a little bit and a little bit, but that SPL number started going up. It stayed pretty consistent uh, in going up, um, went up a 10th, held it for a while, went up another 10th, held that for a very long while. The impedance eventually flattened out, but our power kept dropping just a little bit, uh, maybe five to 10 watts over a period of time. And when we started, we were at 2,061 watts doing a 153.5. And when we ended, we were at 1,971 watts doing a 153.7. So the power that we lost, coupled with breaking in, ends up being more than one or two tenths. Uh, if you actually do the math, you can figure it out. But the other sub didn't explode because you don't have to sit there and play it for a year breaking it in as seen in the other video. You just put it in the box, you can play it, it's fine. So as expected, we did see a gain after getting it broken in because it loosens up and that's what happens when they do that. Nobody's argued that hasn't been the case. But we had one sub in there that was not broken in and the other one that was. If both of them were not broken in, we would have seen greater gains but we only had one that was broken in, so we only saw a few tenths. Now, it also goes to show that if this is something that you would do in your own car, that's not even an audible difference. Uh, if it's less than one dB, you can't make the distinction. So should you buy a new sub because you had one that blew, or maybe you had one that's been played for a while, and then you added another one, you're not gonna hear a difference. Uh, your frequency response might vary just a little bit until it gets broken in as you might expect but going from one broken in not nothing bad is going to happen you're perfectly fine just put it in play it and enjoy it if you have any comments on this video and i know you do post those below if you have any questions about the procedure that we did in all this or any of the testing comment those below as well make sure you shop emfcaraudio.com for all of your car audio needs you can pick up EMF Car Audio products where you have Banhammer V2s on pre-order. These YOLO V2s, we may also do a pre-order on at some point. And I know what you're thinking. We want low ballers. Might do another one of those too. Wasn't planning on it. Mixing up some things. Might do it. We'll see how it goes. We also have excess power for all of your power storage needs. Capacitors, lithium, AGM batteries, SBC for all of your signal distribution needs, and audio control for various processors and factory integration pieces. And I'll see you again in another Tech Stuff Tuesday. So these are two of the YOLO 15 V2 prototypes in this test rig. And we've got it in the kick. We're going to give it a whirl. Yeah, that's a little loud for 3,200 watts. We're going to do several of them. 10... 20, maybe even 30 burps. And then we're gonna have a bunch of noise from cellophane in the background. In this car over here that you can't see that you will in a minute. So we're going to go through all, all of the tip. Motorcycle too. Not for nothing. We're in Edgewater, not Clearwater. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I got that part out. Okay. Something with water, oh, who knows.